Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about what is the Fiori app that I can use for FBL1N, which is used for checking accounts payable stuff, whether it has been paid, when it is paid, or what, what is outstanding, what is aging. So here, so we'll go to this website, okay? Once we go to this website, SAP Fiori apps reference library, okay? And eventually it will open up, okay? And here, if you see, this is the Fiori app library. And once it opens up here, we'll click on all apps, okay? And here you can just click FBL1N. Okay. Here, once we do FBL1N and click on search, I'll get everything that is related with FBL1N. Okay. So here I will say, okay, we will just check overdue payables. Okay. So for that, what I'm going to do is I have the Fury app already opened and I'll search from here and I'll say overview payables. Okay. So if I click on it, okay and here it will come and now based upon the speed of your internet okay it will show up okay uh, there is sometimes a misconception that fiori apps may be faster uh, than compared to the back end which may not be true okay so here so here it's showing up okay uh, it will eventually show up free to initialize close okay okay so this is so let's check the other app that we have, which is manage supplier line item. Okay, so let's say manage supplier line items. Okay, and we will see here. We'll just click on this. I think this app is there. The previous app have some problems. Probably I have some authorization issue or something. That's why it didn't show up. This one would show for sure. So here you can see manage suppliers is showing up. And here you can see, so here we have, so here you might say, oh, there's no data because I have something, company code. So I'll just take this off and I'll just click on go. Okay. And you can see everything that will show up in, in, uh, in, in the document. Okay. So this one will show a lot of stuff. So let me put 1710 and probably then it will be better. And I click go because then this is running as, as like it has everything. It's, it will run forever. So let me see, uh, manage supplier. So it's churning if you see. Uh, uh, here if you notice the, the, the system behaves are different in, in S4. In the back end, we used to get a circle that runs and here it's like this. So here you can see all the all the entries that is there. Okay. So here, if you notice, this is status open items. Here you can select all items. You can select cleared item. So these are the things that you can do. Here you can do sort based on the supplier. So if I want to see supplier, so suppose I want to see uh, something. I can see based on the supplier. So here you can see, you can just type in and get the supplier name and all those things, which is pretty fancy. Okay. And here, if you want to see all the items, cleared items, this is the payable that you have already paid. These are the invoices that has been paid. Okay. And here you can see, you can give the clearing date and all those things. Okay. So if I click on go, okay. If I click clear item, so you make sure when you select this, you have to click go. Okay. And here you can see all these things. Now, some cases here, you might be, you can have uh, some default values that you can set up, okay? So in order to get those default values. So here also, let's, we'll talk about the default values later. So here you can see, if I click on this, this line, it will tell me what is the address and all those things, display supplier balance. You can see all these things, post outgoing payment, clear outgoing. You can click more links and you can see all these things. Very, very fancy. Okay. Really nice. So if you want to probably, you can say create incoming invoice here. You can click create incoming invoice. If you have something that you have already been, you don't, you, you can get those information. You can, you can show the line items for the supplier, manage down payment manage payment block so let me see if i click on this what happens so if i click manage payment blocks 
it will take me to probably another app which is putting the payment block so here you can see i click on it and here i click on the journal entry and here you can see more links and it will take other things so you have link so it 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 basically calls different fiori apps from the same fiori so different fiori apps from the single fiori apps which is very nice okay so here you you have small information now if you click on this clearing entry so if you click on this you can see um, the general entry and analyzer which is probably another fiori app okay and if you click on this so it's opening up okay and here you can see all this information so here you can see oops this thing this has some errors so if you notice application could not be loaded so whenever you have errors you have this so th there's this is a training system so there can be some issues but you can always go to this now if you let's go into uh, let's open up it will take me to the landed supplier line items thing okay so i think if it gets into error it goes for a toss um but here yeah now it's showing so it will show here you can see all this information now what i'm going to show you here uh let me go to the the this page and here i can default st some stuff so here if you see display flow and all those things here i can go to settings and i can set the set the different types of uh, default values okay so if i go here this for some reason this is not running uh, okay but whenever it will come it will sh here you can set this company code and supplier number if you want generally you might want to default some values and uh, you can easily get it so if you are using manage fpl 1n you should be using this process okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share it and subscribe to this channel thank you and have a great day